For years, QRadar, with its ability to do excellent log correlation, but also to consume network flows and Q flows, which is the first 64 bytes of any packets that goes around, and uh, the, the virtual flows, uh, uh, has proven that it's, it's been the king of the hill helping customers locate anomalies on the network particularly now with that uh, user analytics tool the UBA tool that does that automatically without having to do any coding or any rule but uh, if a customer wants to use QRadar to detect frauds let me show you what I mean I have here exported logs and we changed a few things on, on the actual uh, real application and, and, and here we have some logs of this is something that does not look any network related stuff sure we have a source IP but it's the same source IP of the financial application that is actually the same so it's not much of a value but the things that are valuable here is you know the type of transaction is withdrawal is, is a deposit the amount of money that the number of transactions being used the cookie used for authentication this particular case, uh, lifetime days, is days since that account has not had any activity. And, uh, and, and the activity, uh, the account acti active being true or false, meaning if an account for some reason has been uh, deemed as uh, deactivated. So what the customer wanted to do is to say, well, can I use Curator to detect when a transaction, when, a, when a, an account which has been inactive, it's supposed not to have transaction, but all of a sudden has uh, a, a transaction when it has been inactive for more than 365 days. How can Curator help me undo that? It's very easy. You start by going into the admin tab, into log sources, and you add a custom log source for that application, and in this case we, we call it IBM counter fraud application. So you add that, and now it's very easy to do the extraction of all the properties so you can manipulate all those fields that you have in the log. Once you have that, all you need to do is uh, create a very simple rule. Let me show you the rule that we use in this case. So we get a name, fraud, financial transaction after a period of accounting activity. And then we first say, well, I don't want this rule to work with all the log sources. I want you to focus only and first on the logs that come from that log uh, uh, source that we just added, the IBM counter fraud. And notice that it's interesting in here because in the rule we are saying, we, we are actually invoking an AQL, and there have been there's a series of uh, videos on, on AQL, a, a very good tutorial with six videos on it. But basically what we are doing is using a SQL transaction in here that says if I have the minute that I have a, a, a transaction con being one, I mean a transaction has been uh, uh, issued, and the account is active is false, I meaning it has been deactivated, and the lifetime is more than 365 days, this rule should activate. And what happened when the rule gets activated? We see in the second panel we dispatch a new event that is, you know, fraud financial transaction detected after a period of, of an activity of 365 days. Let's actually play that and see it uh, working. So we actually are going to replay that uh, that log file that has uh, around a thousand of those uh, transactions and you see the events actually uh, being detected here in Curator. And actually we even see here that uh, event that was dispatched as a consequence of uh, this rule actually firing. And if we go to the offenses tab, we see that offense uh, being actually uh, triggered. And notice that since we have that log source, we can treat those uh, events. Like, for example, I, I wanted to, uh, I created a search on which I modified the columns to put the lifetime days here. And I just click on it to sort it right there. And then we see those transactions that exceed the 375, uh, 365 days. And when you click on any one of those, you can actually see the those custom properties that now we we add it. Let's click on any one of those. We can see them here. You see, like a uh, uh, type of uh, of uh, account is its contribution, the transaction ID, uh, the count. Uh, the, uh, we say the source IP is not actually uh, very useful in here. So this is actually one of the ones that triggers because 
the it has more than 365 days and the account has been inactive so here is a very simple example how Curator can help you locate fraud and imagine how beautiful this gets when you combine this capability also with the networking event that surrounded this particular transaction. You can actually, for example, see that this could be an APT who actually infected the machine and is performing transactions on your behalf and you can have the whole story uh, on a single pane.